Good morning. It's 5.30 and I thought I was sleeping in, but I just heard a really loud alarm. And I don't know if I was imagining my dreams or if somebody camped near me and set their alarm really loud, but either way, I'm awake. had my breakfast, washed my pot, and started getting dressed. I'm on a slow boat this morning, enjoying this view. Look at that. I'm getting ready to go, and that is an amazing view outside, but I have to be honest, and I think it's really important to be real in these videos because I want people to know what they might encounter if they're tackling the same kind of thing, but I'm in a little bit of a... If it's not the right word, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm in sixes and sevens. That's not right either. It's hard to describe, but... I'm dirty. <laughs> I've been out for days. I don't have a lot of power and I have to conserve my phone so I can't check in too much with the outside world. And this is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love hiking, but it's also kind of lonely sometimes. And sometimes that solitude is amazing because it gives you time to think and reflect and plan and all those good things that are important for us to live the full lives that we should be living. But at other times, it's like, gosh, I just wish that I had a buddy who could do all these things with me. And I love Andy to death, but unfortunately, he's got to work. <laughs> and uh, so if I'm going to do these things, well, I'm young enough to do them. I have to do them by myself or with a friend. And friends who don't need to work are also kind of hard to find. So although I really enjoyed hanging out with Patricia and Iko. It was awesome to have somebody to hike with for a few days. I'm on my own going solo now, and uh, it just feels a little bit, um, I don't know, maybe wistful is the right word. I uh, had some weird dreams last night, so maybe that put me off a bit. And then the alarm at 5.30 when I was thinking I might be sleeping in. I'm not sure, but I just kind of wanted to let you know that not all days are sunshine and blueberries and rainbows and fun stuff. Sometimes it's um, a little bit darker than that i guess i'm not in a dark mood i don't want to say that but i just want to let you know that some days i just feel kind of quiet and reflective and being on the trail can be the perfect antidote for that but it can also make it a little bit worse so i don't know what today will bring i will see as i start hiking but i just kind of wanted to share that with you i just share with you deep from my heart be open let you know where i'm at this trail is absolutely incredible um, but there's also a lot of emotions that come along with that I just realized in sharing all that that I missed one big thing, and that is that I am out here for the experience. I am not a peak bagger. I am not competitive in terms of checking off how many different through hikes I've done and who's done what and how much and how long. I do these hikes because I want to see new things and experience new things and broaden my horizons and just really soak up all that the world has to offer. So sometimes it's hard for me to balance enjoying the experience, being in the moment, in the place, and the need to make miles. And this trip, because it's a two-week trip, um, I've got 14 days and I kind of planned 13 hiking days and then travel day at the end. And it's a challenge for me because I'm having to feel like I'm pushing miles, but I also want to just sit and enjoy moments like this where I've got just this absolutely epic view that most people probably won't ever see. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a tricky balancing act. And I think that's part of a kind of a sense of inner conflict that I have as far as like, how can I slow down and enjoy everything that's in front of me and at the same time make the miles that I need to do to finish 174 miles in two weeks. So struggling with that a bit, but I will figure it out. It's rocks as far as the eye can see. And I'm going steep downhill, so I'm heading that way. I have to say, I am really glad that I'm doing this in the early morning and not in the heat of the day. The rocks started just right after my campsite, and I can't imagine how hot it must be at three or four in the afternoon. I am already hot, and it's only just after seven sweating and hoping it's not going to be a scorcher today. I've gone a couple miles and I could detour there to the Echo Summit trailhead where there are bathrooms, but I'm pretty sure when I get to Echo Chalet in that area that there will also be bathrooms and trash receptacle. 
as well as a cold drink, which I am craving. I tell you, nothing sounds better than a fizzy, cold, bubbly drink right now, and I don't drink a lot of soda, but my stomach has been kind of off, and it's not uncommon to have a bit of a stomach upset <laughs> the first day or two of backpacking, but I'm on day six, and it should be gone by now, so not loving that, <laughs> but I just feel like I'm craving sugar for some reason, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get to Echo Chalet in about three miles. See what I can hook myself up with to consume on site. Maybe some breakfast, maybe a nice soda, and do my resupply as well. I see civilization. Just had the pleasure of crossing a busy road behind me. I've got 1.4 to Echo Chalet, which is the end of my morning travels. I'm going to take a break down there and uh, yeah, rest up, eat up, be on for the next section. Well, I'm at Upper Echo Lake and I just did something I've never done before, which is aqua blazing. Uh, it was just about a 10 minute boat ride here from Echo Chalet and uh, took kind of a little over two miles off my hike, but that's okay. I wanted to do something fun to kind of lift my spirits and it was a fun little ride. And it's just about noon now and pretty hot out. So I'm gonna actually just sit here right by the water, soak my feet, enjoy a little bit, and then I will hike on. All right, so I've got about half mile to go to officially be in des Desolation Wilderness, and I am on my way. Well, I've got about five miles to go still to get to my destination for the day, and this is a long, hot climb. For anybody, <laughs> no matter what shape you're in, I'm very thankful though there are little spots of shade and I was sitting at one down by the Tamarack Lake Junction and a hiker came by, he was on his way down backpacking and he had some extra electrolyte solution. He was kind enough to give that to me, which was, which was wonderful. It was like my first trail magic of the trail and I really appreciate it because it's a little further to Aloha Lake than I expected. I get to walk right by the lake and I can get some more water then and then on to Susie Lake later in the day after I cool off a bit, after I have a swim. That's my next objective, get to a little hot lake and take a swim. <laughs> the word of the day yesterday was meadows. Guess the word of the day today. You got it, rocks. Well, there's Tamarack Lake down there. Long and hot. <laughs> I am very thankful that I drank a lot of water and electrolytes this morning and I had a Mountain Dew to satisfy my soda craving and lemonade, which is delicious, and a Gatorade, which I'm still working on. So I am super well hydrated, which is a very good thing because I can see how easy it would be for somebody who is not used to hiking to get very dehydrated, dangerously dehydrated very quickly on this hike. I think that might be Lake Lucille. I caught a glimpse of the lake ahead and I thought it was a mirage. I've never seen anything like this before. Wow, that is something. This is just amazing. I truly have never seen anything like this before. It is so cool.
those boulders. This is Heather Lake. Just on the other side of Heather Lake, I believe this is my destination for tonight. Susie Lake. Well, I was wrong about that last lake with all the rocks, which is probably a good thing. It was Heather Lake, and this is Susie Lake behind me, which is going to be my home for the night when I find a good tent site. Well, today was rocks on rocks on rocks on rocks for miles. And it was okay because I've actually made peace with the rocks since I did the AT back in 2018 when I cursed them with every step. It was actually kind of fun, but some of it was a little dicey too coming around the lake that I thought was Susie Lake, which actually turned out to be Heather Lake. Uh, it was just all rock along the side and that was had some little steep spots, so that was a little scary. But overall, it was just, it was a really nice day. And I got a major attitude adjustment that I needed from this morning when I stopped at Echo Chalet and was able to hang out with some other hikers. I bumped into Toast and her mom, who I met the very first night, saw them again. I saw um, Becky and Scott, BS for short. They're an older couple who are hiking. I think they're taking like 17 or 18 days and I've passed them a couple times, but they were going into town, so I probably won't see them again. It was just a really good day talking to people. I met a hiker named Misty and her friend Joey. Um, and Misty actually watches my channel, so shout out to her for that. It was fun meeting her. And it just, there's something about this trail. The people, I'm so happy I'm meeting so many cool people along the trail. And um, really enjoying that. And it made things a lot better from where I was this morning as I was talking about just kind of feeling lonely and that sort of thing. I felt a lot better. I'm really enjoying the desolation wilderness, although it is barren and rocky there's also some green some meadows things like that i'm looking forward to see what comes tomorrow when i go to dick's pass and i'll probably get most of the way through tomorrow and then finish desolation the next morning and pretty soon i'll be back on track i'll be back on my schedule in order to get to lake tahoe on thursday things are going well they're definitely looking up from how i was feeling this morning and i hope you'll continue on this journey with me i'll see you again tomorrow